Today we're learning about how cells in multicellular organisms grow and develop and start to specialize, which creates different embryos. So an embryo is an unborn offspring. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using our knowledge of how cells divide and specialize. So certain things are turned off or turned on so that the cells become different and are differentiated to do a special job for an organism. We know that the cells don't all look the same in a multicellular organism. And that results in embryonic development that creates different organisms or living things. So on today's lab, you are going to observe various animals at different stages of embryonic development. The animals that you'll observe are a mouse, alligator, zebrafish, chicken, and human. The images that you'll look at on the card set are not um, in the same order as the list that you have on your lab sheet, and they are not to scale, which means they are not, that's not the real size of them. They're varied in sizes. They don't all have the same size. When you do this lab, the first thing you'll do is you're going to predict which animal you think will develop in each, in, in, um, each embryo will develop into. Which animal do you think each embryo will develop into? So in order to do this, you simply just grab one of these animal names and you will drag it to the place depending on which embryo you think it is. So you're going to use this card set. When you use the card set, it makes it easier to view if you click on the blue at the top and the blue uh, bar comes open with the gear. And then you can click to click it again. Let's see. Let me get the gear. Oh, I keep getting it. Silly. There we go. If you click at one page, it enlarges the embryos for you to be able to see them. So you're going to drag your um, uh, predictions across here to decide which embryos they are at the first stage of development. Don't go any further on the card set. The next thing you do is tell me one pattern or repeated design and one similarity that you notice among the, in the embryos at this stage. So an example might be a repeated design. I kind of think of the diamond design that is repeated over and over again on the skin of a snake. So I might notice that there is a striped design on this embryo, D, and on this embryo, E. I might notice there's a similarity or sameness in that all of these embryos seem to be curved in a rounded shape. Those are examples of a pattern or, repeat or similarity that you might notice. Once you've made your prediction, you are ready to do the arrow and click on the um, card set to advance to the next stage of development, which, which is intermediate or middle. And you will do your prediction using the green boxes. You'll drag them over. You don't undo what you did here in number one. You just make a prediction for the second stage of development. And you'll continue doing this and using the sentence starters on each number to answer the questions. When you're looking at number four, you're looking for patterns in the embryos again. And when you answer number five, you're talking about how these embryos are starting to differentiate. And if I forgot what that word means, it's down here. The process where cells become specialized to perform a particular function. As you go on, you're going to see here, I want some ideas about what is going on inside of each organism's body that we can't see. So what microscopically is happening to create these changes that we can see macroscopically or with our naked eye. So microscopic changes that are happening. I want to know what is happening specifically with the cells. So give me two ideas of things that you think are going on with the cells microscopically in these organisms. And then you'll turn the card again and make a third prediction for late development using the blue animal uh, uh, names. After that, number eight asks, did you or did you not predict the same for each? So you're going to look at your number answers for number one, 
three and seven, where you drag those animal names over. If they are different, you will circle, I did not predict the same for each letter. And you're going to tell me why you changed your predictions. So you're going to describe some specifics in the embryos that made you change your mind. Lastly, you're going to um, look at the adult card and you're going to look at your prediction for number one and compare them and tell me how many out of five did you get correct. So when you first looked at the embryos in the early stage of development and then you looked at the adult card, how many did you get right in the first stage prediction? Number 10 asks you to look at the patterns and similarities that you listed, and you're going to tell me about structures that changed drastically. They started out similar to each other. Drastic means big changes. So give me some examples of structures or parts that changed drastically. And then you're going to tell me why they would need to change drastically, those structures, in order to um, have this organism survive. Why is this organism having this drastic structural change? And that is our exploration of embryonic development. One last bit of information that I wanted to tell you is that you will need to draw text boxes on these questions in order to answer them. And the way that you're going to do that is you need to just go up to the T for text box. And if you're on this one, you're going to grab uh, the text box and you'll just draw one right here. And that's where you'll be able to uh, type your answers in order to complete the rest of the sentence from the sentence starter that you've been given.